You probably saw videos like these where there are lines that follow the person's gaze from the video. It's pretty incredible what kind of applications this technology could be used for, both good and bad. I saw this video of Trump and Obama talking and with this tool we'll be able to see where they were looking at exactly. It's an open source project and you can access it on GitHub. So to achieve these results we'll need to go to Moondream repository and you'll see the recipe slash gaze detection video. This is the code for the eye tracking implementation. To set this up we'll need to follow the readme.md file, it's really simple. Install the required libraries, clone the repository, cd into the gaze detection video folder, create a virtual environment, activate the virtual environment and then install the dependencies. To use this we will have to place a video inside the input directory and run gaze detection video.py file and it will automatically do the eye tracking and create the video inside the output directory. So we will move the video to the directory and run python gaze detection video.py file. Before running this you should have a good graphics card if you don't want this to take forever. The script will recognize and use your GPU and show you a progress bar of how long it will take. While the eye tracking video is being created let's go through the source code and see how this works. The entire script is 300 lines of code. The script uses Moondream 2 model which is a small vision model designed to run efficiently on edge devices. It uses PyTorch for interacting with the model. Let's see the code. We check if the user has a GPU and if they don't, the script uses the CPU. I highly recommend that you use a GPU for this. The two most important functions are process video and visualize frame function. We have the main processing loop where we read the frames from the video one at a time. We grab each frame and check if it was successfully read. We make the frame readable and give it to our model to detect all faces. The following block checks all the possible return types for the faces and sets them accordingly. If the faces variable is an empty array, then we don't visualize anything. But if the frame has a face, we call visualize frame function. The visualize frame function tries to visualize the frame that's passed to it along with the faces. The pill image argument is used when calling the model for gaze detection. We sort the faces by X and Y and then use the colors variable to ensure that each face has a unique color. For each face a rectangle will be calculated and drawn. Then we will use Moondream to detect the gaze. If a gaze exists, the eye tracking lines will be drawn along with the point where the person is looking at. As you can see the code is fairly simple to understand and it's a really fun repository to go through. You can learn a lot. Now that the video is created, let's see how this looks. And that's how you create eye tracking videos based on any video you want. The future is now and this technology is more and more accessible to everyone. Like this video and subscribe, it really means a lot to me. And until next time, bye.